my baby, I'ma love him forever No doubt about it, my word about it That's my baby, and when we ain't together I'm not myself, I don't want nobody else I'ma run Hey, hey, what's, what's up, up TV, TV Nation? Nation? What's going on? We are finally back with a brand new video. And today's video, we tried to film a couple times, but... The video just ended up being way too long. We didn't like hearing ourselves talk for more than 40 yeah. minutes, so we're going to try to make this very, very long story into a short story. But if you guys don't know, um, we were in a really traumatic car accident back in Puerto Rico. This happened like... Around our birthdays too, which sucks. Mm -hmm. From this video, we're not looking for attention, anything in that sort. We're also going to be showing you guys like real life footage from yeah. the accident. But like he said, like we don't want you guys to take this in the wrong way. But we are going to do a story time because a lot of you guys have been wondering what happened, especially to me. Mm -hmm. And you know, just a story time on this whole car accident. Also, nobody was under the influence, like drinking, no drugs, no nothing. Um, Violet was not in the car. Yeah, so that should thing. answer all your questions. So pretty much my mom gave me a car, which was her car. So we could drive and like, you know, go out during the night while Violet stays with my mom and she watches her. Well, we were which, on the west side of the island. Which, which is, is a very important like part yeah. of this story because like we were in the mountain. So the second day we were there, we ended up going to the beach earlier on on the day. And then later on, we decided to go out. The car had no problems when I got into the car. Like I started the car, everything, drove about 20 minutes out, no problems with the car. My mom even drove the car that day to the beach and no problems at all. We ended up going to a resort out there about 20 minutes out like i said and no problems with the car at all we um we went there to see how the vibe was the vibe was really not what we were looking for we were really looking for like nightclub vibes but it was a friday night and like yeah. we didn't have nothing to do and we wanted to like take advantage explore the island um now that violet was a little older mm -hmm. and like she wasn't as hard to take care of so like it was our chance to like um explore as a relationship and like just get out there so yeah. that's what we were really our mindset was on that night mm -hmm. and we were we were honestly planning on taking this car all the way to the capital san juan we had so many plans for the trip we were staying out there for like two weeks plus like it was going to be a really fun trip things didn't go as planned things really just took a turn for us like on the way back actually not even on the way back after we left the resort after we left the resort, we ended up trying to go find like a nightclub place. Um, we ended up finding one, but I had shorts and sandals on, so I wasn't going to be able to get in. So then we just called it a night from there, even though I told her, I was like, we could go back out if you really want to. But she was just, Val was just telling me that we should just go back home and we should try the next day. Yeah, because it was already close to midnight and like the night was over. It was just like everything that night was kind of like not going the way that we wanted to absolutely not so i was already over it that night um and basically i just wanted to go home and call it a night and he really wanted to like make my night and he really wanted to make it a a fun mm -hmm. night but it just didn't go as planned you know yeah. so we just decided to go back home as soon as i started getting closer to my mom's house it started getting scary from there we have a video um just to show you guys what we were driving in just to give you guys a visual of like these mountains and how scary they were um, and exactly the spot where we crashed in because it was so dark like it was nighttime so like out there is really dark at night so you can barely see anything okay so from right here as you can see we're going down the first hill and this is where I told her I was like I'm scared that I'm driving this car right now and so right here in this moment I take off my seatbelt because it's super dark and that was the worst mistake that I could have done um, because little did I know we were gonna crash so I took off my seatbelt like literally seconds before we crashed because um, he kept saying like babe like the car like the brakes like they're not working like they're not they're not breaking and I'm like I take off my seatbelt and I move up and I'm trying to like see the road and I'm like babe okay go slow 
go slow. And then little do we know, we keep going. Yeah, so like from right here, like we just we just kept going. The car was going about like 20 miles per hour. And it and felt it, like super fast. Yeah, so like going down this hill, like it was just going really, really fast. And I tried reaching for the easy brake, like right about here. And I couldn't reach it because it's an old car. It was like a Ford like Explorer or something like that, like 2000, like one or something like that. I don't, I don't really know the details about that, but I could not get to the easy brake. And so as, as you can see from the video, from both sides, both of the turns are very, very sharp turns. Yeah. It's either you go left or you go right or you yeah. go straight. And at the speed we were going, if I would have turned, the car probably would have flipped and probably went down that thing An anyways. Another cliff. Yeah. So like the car in the moment just felt really like, it just felt like it was going so fast and so the whole time like he was still like he was scared like i could have i saw it in his eyes like we, like he was scared and he was like breaking like hard yeah, like, hard, i was really hard, punching hard. the brake and like it was going all the way down like. and his foot was like all the way down on the brake and it was still not stopped and when we started going down is when i decided to like pick up my feet which was another mistake that i did so in the moment that I like we saw that we were struggling and like I knew like damn like we're not gonna stop and it was like I already knew like it was scary like I already knew this part of um, the area like I already knew like damn like we can't and, uh, control it as you can see from the video it's a very dark dark space like and this was darker like this was in the Jeep this was in a big Jeep with like yeah, yeah. like headlights like so really from, bright from right here like this is not from the actual car it's from a, from the jeep like she said and the lights on it very bright you can see everything there but the car that we had like it had headlights like you're able to see but it wasn't like that hence why i took off my seatbelt in the first place to like look more in the mm -hmm. road but shortly after like when when it was all happening like i froze and like that hurts my heart every time that i say it because like instead of like doing something and like probably like Put on your seatbelt, girl. Like, you're about to crash. Put on your seatbelt. Like, I did it. And me, I'm not even paying attention to that because I'm paying attention to where the hell we're going to go. Like, and I'm trying to reach for the easy break. Like, like I'm just... Imagine, like, he's yeah. like, you can like, you can like, um, what is it? Like, pretend like we're in the car. Like, he's like in the car. And he's like, he's like, like... I'm like, I'm like this, reaching for this. Reaching, and like, I'm there, I'm and, I'm, and I'm just there like... I couldn't even speak. I was like... I was in shock like the entire time and like you would think like oh like you wouldn't be in shock in a moment like that but you really yeah. you really do get shocked and then once once i saw we ended up going straight i picked up my feet and then everything just like kind of went blank for me i didn't have my seatbelt so we crash we go down and i hit my head on top of the roof like i went up on the roof and I ended up falling all the way back towards the, towards the back seat. Mm -hmm. And I mean, what I can say, like during the fall. During like, the fall, I blacked out. I blacked out. He saw, you saw trees though. In the beginning, like I saw trees, but Short supposedly, jacket. supposedly the car flipped like twice. It did flip. Yeah, because like, the roof was indented. Yeah, in. the roof was indented in and the back windows all exploded. So in that moment when the car, I guess when the car was flipping, I blacked out. Mm -hmm. and, and I also blacked out when I hit yeah. my head on the roof of the car. So um, when the car landed, I got my vision back and I just saw everything. And I'm just like, yo, like, this is crazy. Like, this is, bro, it, it was beyond crazy and scary as fuck. Like. So we ended up falling like 20, 25 feet down yeah. the cliff. Um, we were just, we probably flipped twice. That's what they say probably happened. And um, we actually landed like upward. Like Yeah, we landed on the wheels and it pretty much was like the car was parked. Thank God. And we landed in like a river, mm -hmm. like, a, like, a, like a low tide river. Um, and so like all the windows were broken and water was everywhere and I'm all the way in the back and all I can hear is Trey like oh my god babe I'm sorry babe are you good babe like he was like trying to talk to me and like I felt like at that moment I did feel calm because I heard his voice but my vision was still black up until like a couple seconds after I mean like at first she was just laying there and I was just like yo don't tell me bro like don't, do not like do not do this to me right now so like so then once we land, once I get my vision back, 
I look at myself and then my left knee was like just normal and my right knee, my right leg was just like straight out flat like on the seat. And once I looked down, I knew it, like I felt it and I saw my leg. I was like, babe, my leg is broken and I started kind of like freaking out. I started like freaking out a little bit, but I'm not gonna hold it. I'm not gonna hold you guys. I kept my composure. Like I give it to myself because yeah. I did not pass out. I did mm -hmm. not like, you know, let the fear get to me. I was scared, don't get me wrong, but I was on survival mode. We were on survival mode because after that, after we like, all right, we got into the crash. What now? Where are we? Uh, like I'm worse? looking. I'm looking for my phone. My phone is gone. And you guys don't know. Last time I went to Puerto Rico, I dropped my <laughs> phone in the water. Like, bro. Like every time I go to Puerto Rico, I lose my phone. Like for some reason. So my phone was completely gone. I couldn't call anybody. He was like freaking out. Like she my had phone, my phone, my phone, my phone, yeah. my phone. Like that was like. He like he thought like that was the only phone that was there, but at the time like I don't even I have two phones, guys. Thank God I have two phones because I I saw my hand and I don't know how, guys. I had my hand my phone in my hand even like during the fall and everything. Don't know how, like I swear. Um, and so like I was like, here, take my phone, take my phone. He gets out the car, and it was just like a movie at that point. It was a real movie, like. Yeah, like I had to get on top of the car to call the police. No service. No service. No service. So like getting on top of the car gave me service. Like um, police couldn't find, they couldn't find us. Ambulance get there, they can't even help us. But it took a minute for them to find us. Because yeah, because my mom's husband ended up coming, you know, ended up going to the town and actually bringing them to us. But it was like a tic tac with the police. Because yeah. like the, the service would go in and out, he would be on top of the car, he was trying to get service, the the call was in and out, failing, mm -hmm. and like, the, we are just like, this is where we're at, like, can't you just pick up where we're at? And they're like, they weren't giving us no, yeah. like, hope. They, they were all, like, they try yeah. To, they tried to get me on WhatsApp, and I couldn't get on they're WhatsApp. Like, they're like, can you send your message on, can you send your location on WhatsApp? I'm yeah, like, girl, like, 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 we have no service. Like, we're lucky we're talking to you I right couldn't now. even get on WhatsApp and do anything. I tried, but it just it didn't, didn't go work. through. It failed. All um, the messages failed. And, like, they kind of just was like, yeah, like, we just have, like, a range of where you could be. So, like, it might take a while before we mm -hmm. find you. And I'm just like, oh, my God. Like, no, this can't be true. And so... Like like he mentioned, we were very very close to his mom's house, so like of course Bro, they know three, the area. It was three minutes away from her house. They three know minutes. the area more, and so like he mm. had called his mom after the police like was not even like telling us like anything, um, and and your mom's husband, he was like on parent mode. He was an yeah. ex sergeant, so like he knows like the area very very well and he was the one that found us like thank god he was and he found us in the heartbeat like mm -hmm. he knew exactly where we were where we could have been um and we actually had this light that you guys see right here like it's super yeah. bright we had this light with us that night because i wanted to go take pictures at the beach not that night but like one of these nights that we were there and so I just remember like you were on the phone, the call was like in and out and yeah. all I hear is is um, your mother's husband's Jeep and I'm like he's right there, he just drove by because like it wasn't that down far but it was far like mm -hmm. I, we couldn't climb it ourselves and like, I couldn't. <laughs> yeah and, and before he got there the car like the car did start smoking and she was in the car. The police told me to take her out of the car so she ended up being on like in the river kind of like, yeah just sitting there because imagine like it's like a movie like the car started smoking i have a broken leg i can't even move it and so i was really scared at that point and like he was like the car is smoking and this is when he was still on the phone with the office the police officer the and he's like what do i do and she was like take her out the car so he had to drag my broken leg out the car and imagine how that hurt so it was really like a movie guys like i was super scared but i was also like get me out this car like i don't care what that police officer says like yeah. get me out this car before this car blows up and you know like oh um so and yeah so from there i ended up putting her on a beach chair 
her legs started like swelling down a lot. Mm -hmm. Thank God. This is after Julio found us. Yeah. He like he like flew 20 feet down like nothing, and he actually like hurt himself too. But mm -hmm. he he did that for us just to like see that we were okay, and then he went searching for help because the ambulance like yeah. was on the other side. Like they couldn't find us, yeah, so, so he the, brought them to us. So the ambulance ended up coming, and they couldn't they couldn't help us for anything they literally scream they were screaming out to me like yeah we can't help you right now we gotta wait for a search and rescue team yeah so the search and rescue team ended up coming and these people are really specialized and stuff like that like if you get stuck anywhere in a car or somewhere stuck in the woods like these people are gonna come and literally rescue you like a movie yeah. like a movie because the ambulance could not help us obviously they didn't have the yeah. resources so when the search and rescue team finally came they ended up putting her on a stretcher um pulling her out of the cliff and there was like 10 like yeah. more than 10 more than 10 people that were working like that mm -hmm. was helping so us. we had pe we had like maybe like four people down inside where we were at and then we had like five other people pulling the rope and pulling her out like a movie guys yeah okay. um then after that i think i had to do something for like a police report or whatever really quick and then they ended up taking her to the hospital, but when we got to that hospital, they told us that there was no surgeon there to do um, surgery on her because Puerto Rico doesn't really have a lot of surgeons on that side. Yeah, we had, on the west side. So we had to go all the way to the capital, which is three hours. We had to go on the ambulance three hours away, which very, was not fun. Very bumpy ride. <laughs> it was not fun. Yeah. But I felt very, like, um, blessed. I was I felt very blessed at that point once you know once they were able to take me out I was like okay like this isn't the worst thing that happened mm -hmm. but this was our first accident to like ever happen and so yeah like we were very traumatized and to be in us in a state where we're not from mm -hmm. and to like have like not like very very good help like that like it was very traumatic for us even more but yeah. the hospital is like a different story for you guys because we did not have the best experience i didn't, we didn't have, have we pretty much we didn't have very good service out there with with the people that work in the hospitals and like no good support system yeah. either like in a time like this like you would expect like the mm. workers the nurses to like comfort you but they don't get paid enough to care about your situation. Unfortunately, um, because of the accident, I did dislocate my hip. I broke my femur, whatever you want to call it. I did have to get surgery and I did have to get a whole metal rod slash nail um, in my leg. So now I have, you know, metal in my leg, guys. This is my first accident. Um, but I just like... I don't know what to say after that. Um, to say. So yeah, she broke her femur. All I had was uh, a lot of strain in my back and neck, really. So I didn't really have any major injuries besides a lot of cuts. But for the most part, you didn't get hurt. Yeah, I didn't get hurt. I was the one that got hurt. And that's because I didn't have my seatbelt. So lesson of the day is no matter what, guys. Wear your seatbelt. Your seatbelt. Yeah, if I didn't have my seatbelt on, it would have been bad. He would have been in the back with me. But thank God he didn't suffer from like any injuries. But um, they weren't really worried about him. Like, you know, they were worried about me. Like, I was the one that, you know, was severely injured, obviously. So, like, mm -hmm. all the... All of the attention was on me and so like he and was, he was fine with it because you were trying to like make sure that i was okay that mm -hmm. he put his own health to the side for me and god knows like you know like you could have like had something broken but like he was too focused on you know mm -hmm. getting me to like better health but i needed i just needed her to go into surgery that's literally all i needed and so we were in the hospital for about like five days um not including like leaving from the west side but i did have surgery on his birthday so what a way to spend a birthday right yeah but in a way like yeah what a way to spend a birthday because this could have gone differently and you know god could have taken my life and his life and instead like he he gave us another opportunity mm -hmm. and so during this whole accident like we like it just shed shed a whole bunch of light on our lives you know like as a whole like everything you know like when you go through something traumatic like this like it just makes you think about your life you know and
be grateful and blessed and we definitely had that eye opener for us mm -hmm. in our relationship in our home and our success and everything and like everything does happen for a reason we're very grateful to still be here for violet um we are grateful for our platform that we do have that we have been really uploaded on it but we just want to like continue to have fun with this and grow and share our journey just like what we're doing right now because we do feel like god put us here for a reason and to be mm -hmm. in front of the camera for a reason so we definitely want to take this to the next level um and we do feel like you guys want to see us more and you guys want to be along with our journey so this definitely helped us like see things a lot clearer and like just become more united with family and just you know build keep building our family the way that we have been um but i do want to say that this entire like experience like couldn't have been couldn't have been any more better if like you weren't there for me and i need you guys to give him like a round of applause because he really like pulled through for me and like he made sure like mm -hmm. i was gonna get the help that i needed and even after surgery like I'm like so stuck, you know, because like I've never broken anything in my life and over there in Puerto Rico They don't really tell you nothing about like aftercare recovery Like they didn't tell me much, but he was like always there for me and he he still is there for me now because unfortunately Over a month later. I am doing physical therapy But I'm not fully walking or I'm not fully doing my normal activities like the gym like there's certain things that I'm limited to so he definitely still takes care yeah. of me and Violet like before anything. And it's just us guys. Like it's always been us three. And I feel like when that. when you know major things happen in our lives, we always do come on YouTube and tell you guys about it and we don't keep it like to ourselves. But in this one in specific, why it's uploaded a month later is because we don't want people we don't expect sympathy from the internet. We don't, we don't want you guys to make it seem like we want you guys to feel bad for us. You know, it's just something that happened in our lives. And we get to choose to share it with you guys because mm -hmm. we can. Because we can simply just not say anything. Or we can simply like clout chase yeah. certain situations, you mm -hmm. know. But we're not those type of people. Like we've never been like the type of people to like clickbait or fake a video because of views or numbers. Like if anything if you learn anything from us is that we're very authentic true transparent like this mm. is real love right here like not that other stuff that you guys see out there because <laughs> like i'm telling you like the videos that you guys see like it's just us just being funny like it's just us it's just and like it's how always been us. it is just how we are overall you know something like this is traumatic to anybody so nobody yeah. can sit here and say we we weren't as we weren't traumatized enough because i've been seeing that in my comments Bro. because what do you expect me to be like do you expect me to be like depressed do you expect me to like hate mm -hmm. myself do you expect me to like feel guilty blame people blame this blame that no when you're in a when you're in like a real like traumatic accident you look the other way and you are grateful to just be here so i am yeah. just filled with you know love i'm just filled with you know like i just want to move forward and i want to like get past this and i want to grow and i want to like do more and i want to fulfill my life you know mm -hmm. like that's what i'm that's what i feel so yes it was traumatic guys like it was scary like Bro, and like, this go, video that we will show yeah we're gonna show you guys a video and like it, real footage and from. like i said this video that we're about to show is not for any type of attention at all we recorded this video already when we already got the help that we needed we were waiting for help. well like yeah we way. were wait we were waiting for the help um, but we knew it was my coming. mom's hu husband came already brought like the ambulance and stuff we were just waiting for search and rescue to come mm -hmm. so the idea came and we were just like you know we should just record this moment because this is a very big moment in our lives already and we're never as of right now and we're never gonna forget it like yeah. you know like we will never forget this like trip. as of right now that's the biggest event of our lives right now yeah and and it's life-changing for me because you know now i have to live with a metal rod in my mm -hmm. leg for the rest of my life like i need to adapt to this new yeah way of my leg moving mm -hmm. and it's been hard like it's not easy like there's days where there's days where i like i am like 
you know feeling mm -hmm. feeling stuck you know like feeling like i can't believe this happened to me but um i go ahead and i like push that to the side i'm just like i'm still thankful to be here you know like i could have lost my leg you know what yeah. i mean but i am thankful to be here but in this footage we're very vulnerable we're scared and you can feel it so it's not for you guys to like be like oh like why it's would just you not it's just not to be taken out of context why would like, you guys record in a moment yeah. like that like no we recorded after like you like know, I, already, I already had called for help I, my mom's husband already came like we were just waiting but we, we did want it to share it with you guys yeah. just so you guys can like wow like feel exactly what we were like going like, through yeah like feel like what we went through after the whole accident already happened so if you guys can drop some love in the comments mm -hmm. um i would really appreciate it some prayers um one thing about this whole experience is that we definitely got closer to god i have my own testimonies with him so again everything does happen for a reason for anybody that's new here definitely hit the subscribe button hit the like button leave a comment um turn on the bell we love seeing our post notification members um, in the comments early in the video. But I hope you guys did somewhat enjoy this video. Um, I know you guys have been waiting for this video. So I hope that you guys got what you wanted off this video. But like I said, um, spread some positivity, some love in the chat. Um, and I'd really appreciate it. And just, I guess that's it. Thank you guys for always being on this journey with us. Um, we're never going nowhere. I know you guys want to see more. Violet has grown so much. So stay tuned for more videos, right? Mm -hmm. But overall, I'm grateful for her being here. Her not losing a leg and able to walk. Yeah. I love you. Mm -hmm. I love you. Mm -hmm. And if you guys can drop some ideas of what you guys would like to see from this page, it helps because, you know, sometimes we get stuck with, you know, not having ideas. But yes, here's the video, real footage, um, and hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Love you guys. All right, peace out, everybody. Guys, yeah, I, I don't know. Look. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the brakes really gave out. I told you that wasn't mine. <laughs>